nerds. Improv nerds. At this point, did you want to be an actor? Did you kind of get the bug of being, I could be on main stage or I could do TV and film? I think, yeah, I think I did was like, I was like, I want to be on main stage. I think everyone who goes to Three Second City, even if you're taking like the, the most like random class, it like passes through your brain. Yeah, I think Just it's... How, Fast as a pass through. It's like brain. the smells of Disney World. Yeah. Don't you think it's like you you yeah. can't not think that you're going to be on main stage. But I kind of quickly <laughs> right exactly. And you know if you're there and you're doing it, you clearly think that you probably have the ability to. So, but after I graduated, I mean I wasn't I never got at I O I never got put on any house teams again. It's like the Miss Unpair thing flashback. Like why didn't you put me on any house teams at I O? I didn't get any. I was never you know I. Uh, uh, Audition for stuff that's like I say we never got anything. It just never happened, and that's that's fine. I'm I'm not I'm not bitter. <laughs> but I, are you I, disappointed about that? Because you, know, you love comedy and you direct comedy. I don't think I'm actually. I no, I, I don't have a problem with it because I actually don't think I'm that good as an improviser, truly. And so it's not that's not weird. I mean, I could do it. I guess there's probably a lot of people who aren't really that good, but do it. I, I guess it kind of came down to a moment. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean it just. It's a question of passion. It's like, where does your passion lie? And I could have continued pursuing the acting, improvisation, acting, acting thing. And I was like, well, that's not really where my passion lies. I got into this through film. This was a great learning experience, and improvisation is such a part of every every way I make film or how I make films. Uh, why? Why? It was almost a, uh, going on a detour at that point. It's like go back to what your passion is. So my passion was was filmmaking, and it always has been, and always had been. Uh, and then now I can focus on directing. And so near the end of my I.O., we did the thing like our I.O. team or our class, whatever, like we're going to be a team now, right? Like on our own and we're going to be friends forever, that kind of whole thing. <laughs> and so we started trying to do shows on our own. We had a couple shows at Playground and then I was like, you know what, I'd love to just direct the, the ensemble and that. We did that a little bit and then it kind of just like all those, it ends up everyone just kind of like six months. I mean, we never sat down and talked. I just thought. I know, I know, we're, we're both really busy. I, I get it, but but you know I'm I'm much older than you. I'm 15 years older than you. I know. You know, my, that doesn't bother me. No, I, I didn't think it did. Um, I know it didn't. You wouldn't have agreed. I mean, no, you I would have been, been like too old. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but, but you 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 liked older guys. I mean, when when I saw your I like you. I know. I, love you. I, know, <laughs> I know, and I love you too. I just I want more. I just thought we had an agreement that we'd always just take it one day at a time. Yeah, and this is the day. <laughs> when Barbara comes, she'll probably make it seem like I did a lot of partying. Okay. Okay? And I did. And you know how I told you I don't like the taste of alcohol? Mm hmm I do. <laughs> okay. Barbara would make a great aunt. <laughs> <laughs>